welcome to stone cook eats today i'll be making quinoa and black bean salad if you're new to my channel i'm so happy that you were able to stop by today don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs> One cup of quinoa, one cup of cucumbers, about one tomato. I used half an avocado. It probably is half a cup because these avocados in Japan are really small. This is also half a cup of black beans, about two tablespoons of jalapeno peppers, and about one tablespoon of onion. The two tablespoons of dried cranberry, two tablespoons of sweet basil, and about one tablespoon of cottage cheese. If you are vegan, you can eliminate the cheese or use vegan cheese. So these are the ingredients that we will use today to make our quinoa salad. So in a clean bowl, I've added my quinoa already cooked and all of my vegetables already prepared. And all I'm going to do is just Put it in. There is no secret or any particular way in which you might want to add this. Just put it in the bowl and that's it. <laughs> After putting it in the bowl, stir. <laughs> the ingredients that I decided to use in my quinoa salad are ingredients that I prefer. I would not necessarily recommend leafy vegetables, but any vegetable you'd like to add to your quinoa salad, that's up to you. And the black beans is definitely for the protein content. So this is basically an entire meal with everything. All right, it has carbohydrates, it has your protein, it has your good fat, and I love spicy things, so that is why I added my jalapeno peppers for the spicy element. So now that that is correctly stirred, I'm just going to add in the final ingredients, which are the basil, the cheese, and my cranberry. And as I've said in previous videos, I do not like salad dressings, so I use things like fruit and herbs to improve the taste of my salad. So again, just add those ingredients and mix. And basically, this is your quinoa and black bean salad. Again, if you're vegan, you don't need to add the cottage cheese, or you can just go ahead and add vegan cheese. And that's about it. If you have different kinds of beans, you can also add those beans. It's no problem. But it's very simple, it's very nutritious, and believe me, it's also very filling. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do not take your time for granted. I'm happy to have you here. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Let me know what you think. I think it's very delicious. <laughs> and it's really good and easy to make and very nutritious.